each of these leaders and experts are amazing and powerful and they're all very different in their perspective on leadership and what they're bringing to the table. So I'm very honored to have them here. I'm very excited to share each of them with you as we share about leadership. And they're going to give you a little bit of a taste of what's in their chapter. So they'll share their name. I'll be introducing them so you'll know their name. <laughs> they're going to share their chapter title and then they'll share a little bit of what you can look forward to and join in their books. Some may do a reading, some may just share, or some may make it a little bit of a cliffhanger to encourage you to go in and read their chapter. Does that sound good? Okay, can we have our amazing authors from section one come on up and line up? And we broke the book into three sections so that we take people on a leadership journey. And I'm gonna let you know where their chapters start and the three sections, they start with leadership and you, because I think it's important that we take a look at what leadership means to you personally. So that's the first section. These are all authors from section one. Section two is going to be your leadership toolbox. What tips and tools are you tapping into to support you as a leader? And then section three is your leadership in action. And we've heard that word a lot today, huh? Action, action, action. So we're going to talk about how to move forward, bring your leadership forward, take steps, and move into action. So that's the journey you're going to get to experience as we bring each of our amazing authors up for the Expert and Influencer book, the Leadership Edition. Dun da da, da da. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, great. Let me share a little bit about our amazing author, who is the very first chapter in the book which means he starts on page 13. So lucky 13 is your page number. So anyone that's tracking, and let me share a little bit about Isaac, who we've had the pleasure of getting to experience and enjoy today. He, Isaac Samuel Miller, is an entrepreneur and visionary since the age of 17. You grew up in poverty, father abandoned, and you overcame great adversity to become a lifelong trainer. And now you have trained over a thousand people as a life coach. Powerful impact, I love it. And you've become a full-time pastor, preacher, I'm sorry, preacher, full-time preacher. I wanna make sure I'm listing things correctly. And you are passionate about providing support and encouragement to help people step into their dreams no matter what. Please welcome the amazing Isaac Samuel Miller to the center of the stage. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Miss Rebecca. Well, uh, I want to talk a little bit about my chapter in this amazing book. Uh, first of all, I think it's very incredible when people come together and just do anything for the betterment of society. But the title of my chapter is entitled, The Bridge to Becoming a Powerful Leader. I believe that language is everything. In fact, I love language. So don't just think of yourself as a leader, but a powerful leader. Now, when you think about a bridge, you think about traveling somewhere. And I want everyone to travel to their destiny. So when you read this chapter, this is not some, some esoteric nonsense. There is a destiny. And this chapter talks about what that is and why it's necessary for you to come alive and to maximize your unique greatness. Why it's imperative that you do this. And in that chapter, I give some keys about how to really be a leader and why it's important. Everyone is a leader. And I wanted to write this chapter in a way where everyone can be inspired. And if I just so happen to be the first chapter in the book, that it would also keep the reader interested. So I think that's what happened, so thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and again, his powerful chapter <laughs> starts on page 13. Our next amazing author, her chapter starts on page 21, Michelle Calloway. And Michelle, we got to hear from a little bit earlier, but I'm excited to introduce her. 
She is the founder and CEO of Revealio Incorporated, an innovative software solutions company, and has been featured in the INC magazine. Her mission is to empower small businesses to form powerful connections with their people and stand out in powerful ways, as we heard earlier today. So please warmly welcome the amazing Michelle Calloway to the center of the stage. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Um, well, I was called into becoming a tech founder. It was not something I was ever dreaming about doing. Um, my background is in visual communications and digital media. So when I stepped into or leaned in, as Rebecca always uses, I love that term, um, to figure out what it would take to become a tech founder and build a technology company, um, I, I knew I needed help. <laughs> so I wrote about what I've learned so far and the journey and becoming a successful entrepreneur, building a company, and what does that look like? There's different stages, there's different zones, and we all love to be in the zone, but it takes a little bit of work to get into that zone where everything's flowing, moving, and happening. So I talk about the different stages of building a, a company and becoming an influencer. Because beyond becoming a tech founder, I've also been called into a community leadership position, and I've started a community called Tech With Heart. It is a heart-centered, forward-thinking group of businesses to empower them to be successful in a digital era where Amazon is shutting businesses down left and right. I want to help be, all be successful. So this, this chapter that I wrote is called Leveling Up. <coughs> Leveling Up, a business leader's journey to success. So I hope it's very informative and empowering so that we all can reach the top of where we're going. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, Stefan. Welcome. So your chapter starts on page 37. Yep. Just making sure that matches your book. <laughs> so our books are the no, same. I'm sorry, I have a different edition. Okay, wait, we need to talk. <laughs> so our fabulous Stefan is an in-demand speaker leadership development coach, corporate trainer, and workshop leader, and amazing leadership retreat leader, transformational retreats. And he's the founder of, and I know this has been shifting, so I wanted to make sure you it's, announce. It's going to be called Surdex Solutions. Surdex Solutions. So excited to see that coming forward. So powerful. He's based in Canada, and he's passionate about helping you personally develop your leadership skills and take them to the next level. Please warmly welcome the fabulous leadership expert, Tantana Stefan Surdex to the center of the stage. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, everyone. So my chapter is called Live a Life That You Want to Lead. So I thought that to introduce it, it could be interesting if I told you the story of when I started to write the chapter. Because I, I was working with Rebecca. Rebecca was doing some consulting with me. And what happened was I, I asked her to review a lead magnet that I was writing, which was around five things that dormant leaders need to know. And dormant leaders are people inside companies that are kind of asleep. They have leadership skills. If you ask them what they do at home, they do amazing things. They, they're the, the coaches of your, your kids' teams. They do amazing things, but when they arrive at work, they, they kind of shut off. So the last tip that I had was something like dare to lead the life that you want to lead. And it was kind of a throwaway. Not a throwaway, but, you know, like a little piece. Out of a 2,500 lead word lead magnet, it was about 500 words or so. And Rebecca said, hmm, I'm intrigued. Tell me more. So I decided, well, I'm doing this leadership anthology book. Let's just write about that. So inside this chapter, you'll actually have five ways to help you live the life that you want to lead instead of just having the life that you have. How can you change your life? How can you change your perspective and start to add, start to lead differently in your life and start to have the life that you want, a life that's by design instead of a life that's by accident? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have our beautiful Naomi. Her chapter starts on page 45. Making sure it all matches. Yeah, yeah. We're good, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Give me the microphone. Wonderful. So Naomi, 
who I adore, is a co-creator of Neuro Successology, seminar leader, speaker, trainer, certified John Maxwell leadership coach, master level NLP practitioner, international best-selling author, and passionate about helping women own their power and create emotional freedom so they can live the life they want to live, that life that they're dreaming of, they're able to step into it. Please warmly welcome the powerful, oh, I get a hug. Okay, before we warmly welcome, okay, now, warmly welcome the powerful Naomi Barricade to the center of the stage, woo! Thank you. So the name of the chapter is Become a Person of Influence, and let me ask you, what your good intention and passion worth if no one experienced your good impact? So I like to help with Kabbalah wisdom and NLP to, tell, to help you turn your unique passion into a le impact and legacy. And in this chapter, I share with you nine secrets of leadership. And I encourage you to choose a good attitude despite the challenges. Just like Joseph in the Bible, who from being a slave became a leader of Egypt. And how you become best leader? By living in internal congruency, having faith, and designing your legacy. And remember, as it says in Proverbs, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Kimberly, come on up. Thank you. Sure. Kimberly's chapter starts on page 29. I'm happy to have you here today. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. So, Kimberly, I just, I, I just love you. Aww. And she really stands for teens. And I think that's a group sometimes that um, doesn't have enough people standing with them. So I really appreciate that you stand there with them and for them. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So Kimberly Sher is a teen breakthrough expert. Mm -hmm. She's been supporting teens and their parents for over 15 years. She's been helping raise up that next generation of leaders. That's what we're doing, walking beside our teens. Number one international best-selling author, has a master's and, you wanna share? Uh, I'm getting my doctorate pretty soon, so I'm super <laughs> excited. <laughs> Just writing a book wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> super exciting. An author of forthcoming book to be released in January. We're hoping, <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> And you've been quoted in major media, ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC, and just passionate about raising that next generation of leaders and helping empower all of us to walk alongside parents and teens. Please lean in and warmly welcome Thank the powerful you. Kimberly Schur to the center Thank of you. the stage. Thank you. Thank you. So how do we inspire our teens to be leaders? Most schools don't teach leadership development as a main subject. There's a difference between having a role in leadership and being taught to lead. Today's tip is to help parents support their teens with um, creating a vision. And this is taken from my chapter, helping teens step into their leadership power. Sorry had a few chapters there, titles. So um, leadership begins with having a vision and um, helping teens to have that vision of not only who they are, but who they want to become. Did you know only 20% of teens have seriously considered what their vision is? In my chapter, I give fresh insights for parents um, to help their teens create vision um, and to look at their values and their passions. Vision is especially important for teens struggling in school because it gives them something to look forward to, it increases engagement, 
and um, it helps them withstand challenges. And I can relate to those teens because I was one of them. And um, I was a good kid from a good neighborhood, got into high school, identified with the rebel, and my grades slipped. And what kept me persevering was my vision to be a therapist. And, um, and my mission today is to help teens, um, to help parents help their teens create the vision, believe in their vision, and to lead a life of purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and have our section two authors come on up. This is your leadership toolbox. So this is a great group to learn what are some of those tools that you can add to your toolbox to help you lead and shine. So Olivia, would you like to come on up first in our group? And Olivia's chapter starts on page 91. Thanks. Great. So Olivia, make sure I have all my notes here. Because I'll speak from the heart, and I want to make sure I'm giving you their credentials, too, because that's important as <laughs> so I'm introducing them. So I love you. I'm glad that you're here Thank up you. from Southern California. It's just a treat to have you in our presence and bringing your energy. You. Absolutely. So Olivia is a global thought leader and data scientist, best-selling author multiple times over, and she has this unique approach that I appreciate where she's bringing a holistic approach and love and data science all together, which I think is a really powerful combination. And personal growth. You, you just bring all of that mix together, which is really powerful. And you're passionate about bringing more love into the world. And you stand for that so powerfully. And you've got the data to back it up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come on up. Let's welcome the Olivia, the powerful, heart-centered Olivia Parud to the center of the stage. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. I have to say, I'm one of those leaders that Stefan spoke about where I wasn't stepping into it at all. And I ended up in a corporate job where I was doing really great work as a data scientist and I was being asked to lead and I was terrified. And then as I stepped into it and some of that I share in the book I wrote Love at Work, uh, I, the journey I had to go through and learning to love myself and be a leader and what I really started to understand is that I didn't need to be that kind of leader that I thought were leading and many of the corporations are still run that way with a fear-based top-down leadership style but really that the leadership of today is much more like a coach I mean we're all along those lines in this room to be inspiring people being behind them and letting people shine that's really how companies are successful today so my chapter is called our time to lead and what I see is the complexity of the world, it means that nobody can do it all anymore. We all have to think of ourselves as leaders. So when I'm in a corporate setting and I'm talking to young data scientists, I'm saying they don't know how you did what you did, but you're telling them who's your market or who's at risk and they have to trust you. So you need to think of yourself as a leader and you need to learn the skills and the ways to inspire people really to uh, believe you and trust you. And those are the real edges, I think, where we need to grow as leaders today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Ariel, yay. Come on up. <laughs> Thank you. I was telling her earlier, I was appreciating her, her lacy dress. So beautiful and so just bringing a little feminine to the i love it i love it feminine and flow i love it love it to leadership conversation exactly yes. beautiful <laughs> so ariel asher is a number one international best-selling author speaker podcast personality i'm gonna have you start coming to the center holistic entrepreneur teacher mentor and coach you have a bachelor's in theater i do a master's in religious science and a doctor doctorate in metaphysics what a beautiful mixture. Yep. I love it. I Thanks. love it. Very, very rich. Yeah. And you're a leader of 
in the holistic self-care, personal development, and transformational field. You're a known leader in those areas. And your holistic center earned the title of best day spa in the Silicon Valley in 2015. Yep, that's true. So I'm excited to have you joining us. I want to welcome you and your beautiful chapter to the center of the stage, Ariel Asher. I've been waiting all day to do that. <laughs> um, my chapter is called Developing the Leader Self. And um, I never really thought of myself as a leader even though I was always in leadership positions, and um, I um, attribute it um, to my mother. I was raised by a single mother, and she just said, go, do it, right? There was no conversation about it. But what I developed in my life and what has brought me the most success is by not that push energy out there, although because I'm a performer, a lot of people have seen me in that energy, but really, it's the inside work that has made all the difference. And so I have really positioned myself now as what I like to call an energy activist, right? Because that's like high frequency. But I just call myself a whole self-care advocate. I'm really wanting to um, educate leaders, speakers, and teachers to bring their whole self, their heart, their spirit, their um, common sense, mind, body, spirit, everything all to the mix. Because I think now is really the time to do that. And um, my grandmother would have been so um, happy to be alive at this time, at this important time. I feel so much like she's looking down on me all the time, going, go, girl, go. Um, I really feel her um, presence with me all the time. And I'm hoping that um, everybody will um, embrace their own leader self. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's my dancing buddy. <laughs> so the fabulous Kathleen Sims and your chapter, I get to flip the page, starts on 105. So for those of you following along, 105 is the fabulous Kathleen Sims. I know our table is becoming complete. <laughs> yep. Take anything you want. Yeah. Pretend it's me. Part of the skirt just jumped off. Um, I guess it's dancing with us. That's great. <laughs> okay, so let me share a little bit about Kathleen Sims. You have dedicated your life to helping bring more love into the world, one heart at a time. Over 40 years helping people um, discover self-love and how to bring, and what that really means, how to love ourselves and how to love others. You are the co-founder we need to find this. Get my glasses here. <laughs> of the um, Center for Conscious Living, number one international best-selling author. You are a sought-after relationship coach, healer, dynamic speaker, animal lover. Woo! She rides horses. I was just thinking, what else can I tell about you? That's, That's right. my horse on the cover. That's right. <laughs> so with that, let's welcome the amazing and powerful and loving Kathleen Sims <laughs> to the center of the stage. Woo! Woo! <laughs> with all that, you'll recognize my, uh, my life purpose is to celebrate the preciousness of this joyous dance of life, embracing myself and all others in God's perfect love, freeing our spirits to soar as one. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and to do it by horseback. <laughs> Uh, before this book, I was in um, six, I've been in six other wonderful books, and all of them uh, hitting number one and so forth, which is so exciting. And every book that I've been in, I knew ahead of time, you know, the subject matter, what I was going to write. I was all excited. Then when this book came along, I said, uh, I raised my hand and said, me. Then I got home to write, and I was completely in a state of shock. I had no idea what to write. And, that, and this was here, the seventh book that I'd written. The chapter, I sat, and there was nothing coming on the screen. So I was talking to my daughter about it, like, what is the deal here? I'm not an expert, and I'm calling her to tell her I'm not. 
And the, part of the, pro I invite all of you to write a chapter. It's a growth process. Mine was owning to be a declaration that I'm an expert. And then if I am, how did I get there? Was I born there? All of that. And what I realized looking over my life is it wasn't a solo journey. How I got there is having other wonderful mentors in my life to hold my hand and take me along. And Rebecca's one of them. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Jean Alford's chapter starts on 123. And Jean has been um, supporting us throughout the day, keeping us on track, which I just so appreciate. And Jean, and, and here's an example of leadership. We were a little bit shorthanded in helpers. And here, Jean, one of our authors that we're showcasing, she said, hey, I can help. What do, you, what do you want? What do you need help with? And she's been supporting us all day long. And I just am honored and humbled by that, and I appreciate it. Your community. Exactly. Thank you. And it gave me an opportunity to receive support, too which is really powerful. So I want to thank you in that way as well. Thank you. Absolutely. So Jean Alford is a PR expert in marketing and communications. She's had a career leading award-winning teams at Dolby Laboratories, Philip Electronics, Visa, and Sony, just to name a few. Director, you are now also the executive director of Sudden Cardiac Arrest. Podcast host. Brand new. Brand new. Woohoo. And we launched on, when did we launch? August 8th, I think. 8th. So this month. Yay. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm excited. Number one international best selling author, multiple times over. And you are passionate about helping all of us share our unique brand story powerfully and effectively, because every word matters. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's welcome the amazing Jean Alford, dun -dun -dun, to the center of the stage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to read a little excerpt from my chapter, because I think it's important. The name of my chapter is The Leader's Secret Weapon. Wait for it. It's a gift. But I'm going to jump in the middle for you. I call listening a superpower. Why? It's a gift to hear what we say to each other. It's a gift to give your conversation partner your full attention. I had the great pleasure to work with one of the founders of what we call Silicon Valley today, Bob Noyce was CEO at Intel when I met him. He was working with President Reagan and he had a group of 35 bipartisan congressmen that he was working with. I worked at an association and he was on the board. One day, I needed to get his attention and ask him for information for a reporter that was on deadline. Bob, who was just leaving a meeting, stopped. I remember he looked me in the eye and he said, I would love to hear more about this. Walk with me. We discussed the issue and he gave me two response options. Then he took my breath away. He said, let me know if they need to get me on the phone. I'll make time for you. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Until that moment, I didn't think he knew my name. He modeled for me how a leader takes whatever time he needs to stop, listen, and choose how to respond. He also showed me how a leader, with very little effort, empowers people to do what they do best. So let me ask you, do you listen? Of course you do. Or not. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jane. It's <laughs> perfect. Yeah, thank you. Okay. 
And then we have our fabulous Linda Patton, who's been supporting us. Yes, let's welcome Linda to the stage. Supporting us all day, holding space, helping us stay on track. <laughs> yeah, now, now I'll give the mic. Because now I can't say anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we really appreciate it. Thank you. So thank you. It's an honor to be here and to be in this support position. Oh, thank you. You do it beautifully. So Linda's chapter starts on 163, and it is the closing chapter. So I love that we had the opening chapter and the closing chapter today, which is so beautiful to experience that. And Linda is a dear friend of mine. I know she shared a little bit about that earlier. We've been on the journey for a long time. Really long time, yeah. Yep. We, would, well, we were two when we started. That's that right. <laughs> that's right. And she is a leadership <laughs> expert. She was in the military for a number of years and helped get far star, five, four star, four, four star, star thank you, four star generals um, where they needed to be and help direct and make those things happen. Leadership expert, you've worked both in the uh, military, corporate, and nonprofit arena. So expert of experts. You're an accomplished entrepreneur, gifted communicator, founder of Dare to Lead Leadership Training, international speaker, number one international best-selling author, and you've trained and led thousands of men and women. Yes. And you are passionate about helping you bring your great idea forward. She wants to help you create a movement and bring it to life. Please warmly welcome to the center of the stage our wonderful MC and amazing leader, Linda Patton. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love the title of my chapter, and I, I, I thank my uh, team for this. From Military Command to Empowered Influence, One Woman's Journey to Leadership. It's actually the precursor to the book that, I'm, that comes out in October. I was a military officer. I retired as a major from the United States Army. Uh, I met my husband on a post of 5,000 women. He was one of five single male officers on post. We've been together 46 <laughs> years. Yeah, I don't lead. Uh, and I, to be honest with you, yes, I led a general all over the place. I actually got him to change his, his lunch options as well. That's another story. Um, and, and I never saw myself as a leader. You know, I, it was not something that I did. And it wasn't until about five years ago that I actually had somebody in a workshop that I was attending say to me, I, I thought you'd lead us in this exercise. It's what I expect of you. And I went, what? You gotta be talking about somebody else. You're not talking about me. And at that point, I looked back on my life and I looked at all of the places that I had led, be it in workshops, be it in nonprofits, corporations, generals, whatever it might be. But what I found was I led from command. I'm really good at the command voice. I can, I used to be able to actually project across a parade field to thousands of people and they would do exactly what I said to do. <laughs> and so the story is about how I moved from that to influence and really brought the feminine forward and let the man support. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. So let's give another round of applause for our beautiful leaders of the experts and influencers, the leadership chapter, uh, leadership edition. I got so excited. <laughs> Look, we're so excited to have you here. Thank you all for sharing so beautifully and powerfully. Are you a speaker looking to reach more people with your message? You have a global vision that you want to touch the world and make a global difference. If so, I have an amazing opportunity for you. It's called the Speaker Talent Search. Again, that's the SpeakerTalentSearch.com. You'll find all the details, but here are the highlights. 
With one application process, you get clarity on your message. You get to fine tune how you want to reach the world. Then you'll have everything ready in one place for the opportunities when they come. Second, we select you as a finalist. You get to come in an audition with a seven minute audition, open up the door to hundreds of speaking opportunities. I hope you lean in. I hope you say yes. We would love to hear your message help you touch the world powerfully. Again, that's the speakertalentsearch.com. We look forward to hearing your powerful message.